Hey there, it's Steve with Open Water Chicago. Here we are a couple days later. We're no longer surrounded by that evil ragweed patch. But you know, I'm still a little symptomatic because this morning I was actually swimming in the lake, probably in billions upon billions of pollen grains of the stuff. So there's no way around it. It's just the reality of being outdoors, especially swimming outdoors this time of year. And that brings up another point that I wanted to make. Whenever you swim outdoors, you just have a different reality than swimming in a pool. Swimming in a pool is a very antiseptic, very controlled environment. You just don't get some of the contaminants, both natural and man-made, that you get in an outdoor swim environment. And I'll just give you some examples. I mean, we've already gone over ragweed, but there's other pollens as well, too. There's tree pollens, there's different types of uh, flower pollens at different points of the year, anything that you're allergic to. You've got mold spores, you've got viruses, bacteria, especially E. coli, which we get in the high summer as, as the water and air temperature gets really warm. But you also have man-made contaminants. You have things such as air pollution particulates, agricultural runoff, all types of contaminants and irritants that you just don't get in a swimming pool environment. So that's unfortunately the reality of what we have to deal with and we choose to go into this environment, but there are some things that you can do to mitigate their impact on your health and on your performance. And we're gonna talk about two of them over here. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go over two what I call swim hacks on how to effectively manage these outdoor niceties, these contaminants that are in the lake or pond or river, whatever you're swimming in outdoors, how to manage them. So stick around and we'll go over these two things.